Qualcomm today, uh, you can see that Oslo has many advantages. One of them is that the, the harbor is so deep that it can take the largest passenger ships. And I think yours is the largest here on this cave. Uh, this summer with 4,400 passengers. Let me see a little of the old fort head to the left. I'll tell you more about that later. I, I, this afternoon you can walk up the little footpath and, um, and uh, get acquainted with Oslo's old fortress up your series. Heute Nacht können Sie an Sie haben viele, viele Stunden. Können Sie diesen kleinen Fuß weggehen und durch das die Tür da. Dann können Sie also die Festung kennenlernen von 1299 gegründet. Wir fahren dann ein bisschen ostwärts, wo man einige von Oslo's Sehenswürdigkeiten hat. Man sieht diese Brücke. Auf der anderen Seite wurde die Stadt so ungefähr um Jahre 1000 gegründet. Es gibt einen Ruinenpark, das das gut zeigt. This is a bay here with lots of new construction. It was a very bad area some years ago with the decayed houses. The house to the left was the old harbor harbor storage house and it had um, was not more in use and it had broken windows and everything but it was taken care of and now has um, offices and here it was the old Hafenspeicherhaus links so for good 120 years gebaut war lange in a very bad zustand with um, eingebrochenen Fenstern, sah dreckig aus und alles. Viele meinten, man muss das abreißen. Aber einige Kapitalisten haben eine gute Idee gehabt. Man hat das umgebaut in ein Geschäft, in ein Büro. Und das passt sehr gut. Rechts die neue Oper, the new opera was there on the right hand side. Und links äh, sehen Sie dies, das Haus mit den Säulen. Das ist die Börse. To the left is the stock, stock exchange. Das ist das Haus mit den the Kolonnen. The, that's where you buy. Shares and and, um, and stocks. I can't guarantee uh, a profit though. Mm. But uh, they have lots of propaganda recently. Don't put your money in the bank. You want you have a very small interest rate, but uh, try to buy in in a big um, company or something or or one of the big funds. And you can earn much, much more. It's very small print. It also says you you might lose everything, which some people have actually. The ones who get rich are, of course, uh, the people in administrating all this. So, on the right to the Börse, the opera on the right hand side, and also the new uh, library, city library here on the left hand side. So, lots of culture. Uh, the opera was opened in 2008. Yeah. Surrounded by lots of scandals, it got of course much. But we are going on the Zuge Tink, so you can see what the station looks like today. And then a few houses, it was stark verhasst, as they in the 90s were built, and you got a decision from the state that you could not be higher than 12 floors. So uh, some yeah, high-rise yeah. buildings here we built in the 1990s, uh, and they were hated by most people. So they got a new decision in the city council that from now on you could only build up to 12 floors. But many are also fighting that many want to buy more skyscrapers, but so far they don't. They haven't got through. Oslo's biggest hotel, the biggest hotel in Oslo here, rechts, Plaza, with 720 Zimmer, 720 rooms here to the right, Oslo's biggest hotel. Oslo's biggest hotel. Many distinguished guests there. Uh, some years ago, the then Russian president, can you remember him, Yeltsin? Much more friendly than Putin, would say. Uh, uh, and also, she liked his vodka, he was very friendly. Uh, then we had the American president shortly after that. The, can you remember Clinton? Yeah. Yeah, please. Then, yeah, I can't have the name of the guest. And, of course, the Americans are a bit greater than all the others. He had the whole hotel with all 720 rooms with his staff and everything. There was no one to go to the bar. And bus lines are in the back here. And this is the busiest square in Oslo, this railway station square. 
you see the T symbol for the for the metro. It's, it's a big metro station here, but also many street cars. Trams. I learned at school when I had English trams in, in English and streetcar in American uh, English. Is that, is that right? More or less. Because we don't have metro everywhere, so we need these beautiful blue carriages, and that's much better. You go slower, but you see a lot when you take a streetcar slash uh, tram ride. So a little old, no, old age, straight to here, head we see Oslo's uh, cathedral from 1696, with the beautiful arches uh, around it, the many small shops and the eating places. And also Oslo's Alta Hauptmarktplatz kommt mir vorbei, heute meistens nur ein Blumenmarkt. Und links also die Kirche, Oslo's wichtigste Kirche, für wichtige Begebenheiten, so zum Beispiel die Die Ehen findet hier statt, also die Kropfels, die mit der Wahrheit heiratete, hat es hier stattgefunden. Mit den meisten Kirchen evangelisch-lutheranisch. Protestant, of course, this church, like most churches here, when the Crown Prince married, met der Wahrheit, they took place here. Und dann sehen Sie der Mann da, eigentlich dänisch, Christian IV., der Oslo nach einem großen Feuer in 1624 wieder geplant hat. Und das ist hier weiter geradeaus. Die alte Stadt war bei der Bucht. As I said, here gibt es a ruin park. Man uh, hat me for all, nein, nicht da wieder auf Bonn. We bauen eine neue Stadt weiter. Provinces. Und viel Theater hier, links ein Badeville Theater. Und hier ein großes Theater, das heißt uh, Noschkos, das norwegische Theater. The Norwegian Theater, this is called. Uh, eine von Norwegens, uh, one of Norwegian's big mysteries is that here is never anything performed in Norwegian. Never. It's hard to explain on that short tour, but it's too normal, so to say, uh, the Norwegian we use here in the East and in the West Masons, something they call New Norwegian, based on the dialects over there. And here is everything of the so-called New Norwegian, which is used. But it's also said that the Vatican, when it's while Norwegian, is down, it's not forgotten, one more here. And in the schloss, what we can see in the back, we can also the king and the king. Uh, Norway is yeah, uh, monarchy, so we have a king and a queen, and you'll soon see the palace where they live. Just briefly, as we cross the street, you'll have it on the right-hand side. We can see if the royal flag is up, if the king is at home or not. On the left, you could have seen before this bus came. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, he was married to an English princess. Uh, her name was Maud. You can see a monument to her on the right, the right hand side there. She was the daughter of o Edward the Seventh, and he was again the son of o Victoria. So, this building to the left is now empty. It used to be the American, the American embassy, but they have sold it and they built a new embassy out of town.